Good morning, one. Good morning, all. Look at that grass. It just keeps growing like a weed. Like a weed. Did you know? Did you know that grass is technically a weed? Mm hmm. Yep. It's a pest, isn't it? It grows everywhere. Always got to cut it and maintain it. Oh, man. But you got to love it. I'm going to get out there and mow the lawn real quick. And then I'm going to shower up and figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. Probably going to town. Uh, I've got a few things I need to get done. We'll figure it out as we go. First, I need to put different pants on. So I'm wearing my pajama pants. See, those pants look funny. And why are you wearing those pants? Because they're comfortable. Very comfortable. Well, I'm not wearing my shades in the house anyway. And yeah, we got some older clothes on. Phones are dinging. Dogs are following. Stuff is falling. Looking for my sandals. Have you see my sandals, Diesel? The flip floppy thingers? What's this? Who fell? Who fell? Amsterdam fell. Why'd you fall? Amsterdam, don't fall. I sort of had it leaning on here. Like that. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! There we go. I'll fix that later. Diesel! Where are those flipper floppers? Flipper floppers. I know! I mow my lawn in flip flops. What? I'm on a riding mower. It's not like I'm on a push mower. That's dangerous. Thinking, I'm just gonna be riding my mower around like a boss. I need my flipper floppers. There they are. Hey, can't see anything with these sunglasses on. You might ask, why are you wearing your shades in the house? Well, I don't know. Because I feel like it. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave these here. Replace those. All right. So we'll get this mower started. Let's get this day on the road. It's exciting. Let's go make some noise, Diesel. All right, you guys ready for this? Get this up to there. All ready? Push the clutch in. And come on, baby. Come to life. That's right, I gotta choke it. This is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> All right, here we go. Today is a very special day. Because I get to drive John's Camaro. I feel really cool. I had to put on my cool hat too. My cool shades. I'm totally not cool, but I feel cooler driving a Camaro. Pop the trunk. Pop the trunk. Oh, look at that. I actually found it right off the bat. Josh is about to experience the happy pedal if there's not enough track, if there's enough, so less, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. If that car would just go, always oh, turning. Oh, he's that's turning. even better. Good. Even better. All right, double tap and go. <laughs> that beats up my truck. Not bad for a V6, eh? Not bad for a V6. I think people have no idea the actual power of these new V6s. These V6s have more horsepower than, than the, the old V8s. The 2002 V8 was rated at 305-ish horsepower, I believe. I haven't looked it up, and this one's rated at 323. Yeah. Oh, well, it so, goes. It'll surprise you. It surprised me. First, when I heard you got a V6 too, I remember that. I was like, well, why, why do you get a V6? Why do you get a V8? Until he took me for a ride. Oh. <laughs> oh, you don't need a V8. Unless you want to spend more f money and fuel. That's all it does is guzzle more fuel and burn more tires. It does have that V8 sound though, you gotta admit that. You, you right. can't quite beat the V8 sound, but all my V8 friendly buddies, they're they're V8 nuts, you know? It does it's not a real vehicle unless it's a V8. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they they heard this thing once we did the exhaust and they're like Eh, you don't need a V8. That thing sounds insane. <laughs> <laughs> this thing does sound pretty nice. Well, technically I have V8 exhaust from the axle back. Oh. 
I'm showing Josh, Echo Alley, and Steinbach, and in the Camaro, so. that burble when you let off real fast yeah you like that burble or oh yeah yeah that makes it sound even more high performance <laughs> well when you hear race cars downshifting it's blah, 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 blah. well this guy beside us wants to race i'm not racing he's got a hemi car it's got a hemi <laughs> that thing got a hemi <laughs> my official review very nice so honestly, I, I am quite surprised at the power that they have in these uh, 2013, is it 2013 or 2014? In these V6s anyways. So yeah, usually everyone's like, hey, why don't you get a V8? Well, you know, this V6 will actually surprise you, actually, I think. The only thing you're missing is the sound of the V8, right? Oh, sorry, it's out of the way. There you go. Look at that. And we're recording. Yeah. Is this thing on? Hello, is this thing on? I don't know how to use cameras. I'm not very good with cameras. <laughs> oh, we disappeared. Screen turns off. Oh, I see. Now it records in three minute intervals. Oh. Grab the rest of my stuff. <laughs> Testing out John's dash cam. Pointed it inside the cab here because we can't mount a GoPro in here. Because, well, we don't want to put those sticky pads on here, right? So this is like mounted to the windshield and then the camera's just facing out. Yeah, well, you know what's going on. It's actually a very fancy dash camera he's got here. It's very, very, very nice. Very nice. I'm hungry. I'm driving a Camaro. Ready to rock? Yeah, you're gonna have to move your phone though. Let's do donuts in the gravel parking lot. Yeah, how about we don't and say we did? Alright. We did donuts in the gravel parking lot. Trust me. <laughs> I tapped it and looked down like, oh wow, I'm doing like 75. Nah, you weren't doing 75, you're doing maybe 65. Well, I was keeping up in the truck, and my truck is governed. All right, so John here is going to show us how it's done because it's his car, and if he breaks it, it's his problem. If I break it, well, I already bought it, so yeah, I don't even have to worry about that. I don't want to break it. Cause look what I did to my quad. It didn't even take me an hour. I broke yeah. it. set up here so you guys are probably gonna get like two views of this you know have this as a picture in picture ah. See? we walked into the showroom we had called the dealership ahead of time called around we need a black Camaro full load sunroof leather okay well that'd be RS package and we got a black one here and we got a gray one that's not, uh, well, yeah, they had a cyber metallic, cyber gray metallic. And this one. And this one, of course, was in the showroom. So we bought it literally off the showroom floor. <laughs> so we walked in and we were talking to the salesman. And it's like, so what kind of vehicle are you guys interested in? That one. <laughs> I was when I went to go look at the Colorado. Walked right in there. What are you looking for? That. Want to take it for a drive? Yes, I do. I'll buy it. Yes, I do. <laughs> How about this silver? No, no. Too Colorado. Big. Yep. 
They tried to sell me on a color, uh, Silverado yet, uh, an older Silverado. Nope. I'm glad he gave me options so that I can at least make a decision based on options, but... Nope. I'll decide what car I want before I go to the dealership. It's not always the best idea to decide right when you get to the dealership. Yeah, well, it's like when we were looking at buying a truck. We went to the dealership because we were going to buy a brand new truck. And a uh, couple of the... We picked the motor first. Well, that narrowed it down to two options. Packard or Daimler. And, well, we went, to, we went to custom or CADA, custom truck sales in Winnipeg. And it's like, yeah, well, we're looking to uh, price out a truck. And he pulls out this pad, and it's got all the options in a checklist. Well, obviously, they love just talking to the customers. Here, fill this out, and we'll let you know how much it costs. Like, I did all the work. Well, I don't want to buy from these guys. Then we got into the Kenworth sleeper, and it just felt like sterile and eh. What do you want? A uh, large with two cream and espresso in it. Hello. Hater. Two large double double and a large two cream with an espresso shot. Uh, no, that should be it. Yes, please. Super duper. Gotta get the super duper in there. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> and in she goes. I put her to sleep. I should take a bike out today, yet. I don't know. Well, just got back from a long ride. <laughs> Took my bike uh, to Winnipeg. And it was like five degrees Celsius, which is like 40 Fahrenheit, not even, not even 40 Fahrenheit. It was cold, but uh, it was fun. I had someone with me and we went uh, 10 pin bowling, 10 pin glow bowling. I had the, this camera with me. I couldn't take the one I'm holding right now, but I had this Canon Power Shot with me, and it was, like I've been saying, this thing does bad, bad footage in, uh, or bad quality footage in low light, so none of it really turned out. So I figured I'd just tell you about it. It was fun. I don't get to go 10 pin bowling that often, but, and we got back at about probably one in the morning, so it's 10 to two right now in the morning. Time to end the vlog. <laughs> Oh, I will see you. Oh, wait a second. Oh. See you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. Go down below to the description. There's links to my social media, my personal Facebook, Trucker Josh Facebook. Don't forget to give the Trucker Josh Facebook a like. Okay, everybody, anything Trucker Josh is going to be posted on the fan page from now on. Trucker Josh, the link is down below. Uh, go ahead and click that there. That's where you'll find anything related to Trucker Josh. Okay, we're, we're at about maybe 4,700 likes today while I'm filming this. Uh, let's see if we can get that up over 10,000 so we can get this uh, the videos out to as many people as possible. So don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to share it on your social media. Share it with your friends. And, of course, word of mouth. Let your friends know about me and the videos. I'll see you